Always low, low prices at Pahrumpf Valley Auto Plaza. My idea about those types of board games is if you enjoy them and they're giving you a challenge, so you can't do it on autopilot, you really need to think about it, then it's really serving you a good purpose in terms of supporting your brain health for life. Dr. Jessica Caldwell is a neuropsychologist for Cleveland Clinic. She says there is no minimum or maximum time you should be playing those kinds of word games. What matters more is playing them on a regular basis. So what if you're not really into word games? Dr. Dr. Caldwell says there are plenty of other options out there that can give you the same kinds of health benefits. For example, you could do a tough crossword puzzle or play another kind of puzzle. You could even watch a documentary or read a book and then have an in-depth conversation about it with a friend. She says anything that gives you a learning experience or cognitive challenge is what's most important. In order to keep your memory and your thinking sharp, the key is really challenge and learning. Those are the only ways that you're really actually exercising your brain. You're growing new neural pathways. You're supporting the old neural, pa neural pathways. So the key is that you can't just be busy. Dr. Caldwell says if you feel like you're not great at those word games, don't be too hard on yourself. It could be worth trying something else that is more enjoyable for you.